600 kilometers distance from Zhengjiajie, the morning bell chimes at a thousand-year-old Wudan Taoist temple. Here, a 73-year-old Taoist master named Wang Taike carries on the tradition as the 24th generation of Chuanzheng sect of the Huashan school. He is about to show us the relationship between traditional Chinese medicine and Taoism by processing the medicinal herb He Shou Wu. Wang knows everything about the wild He Shou Wu, which is harvested in the late fall and still carries the scent of the frost and earth. His traditional preparation of He Shou Wu is like a continuous dialogue with nature. The process takes time, patience, and compassion. He Shou Wu is a distinctive medicinal herb that differs greatly from simple sun-dried forms. The processed herb is transformed from the sun-dried form with its cooling and detoxifying effects into a tonic herb that nourishes the supplements, the jing or essence of the body. Also notably, it can darken the hair and beard. This first batch of raw sun-dried He Shou Wu has been soaked in yellow rice wine for three hours. The yellow rice wine acts as a catalyst to transform He Shou Wu from a simple herb into one with medicinal properties. In addition to the wine, black beans and black sesame are added. These key ingredients enhance the potency of the processed He Shou Wu. According to the Chinese medicinal five element theory, black colored medicinal herbs like black beans and black sesame can fortify the functions of the kidney jing, which helps He Shou Wu to become an even more potent tonic herb. Wang Taike is from a long line of Chinese medicine doctors. He has harvested wild herbs in the mountains since his father first took him when he was 13. From his father, he learned Chinese medicinal knowledge through on-the-job training hunting herbs in the mountains. These half-century of lessons have left a lasting impression on him. Now his son Wang Yangbing and many of his Taoist disciples are also following his path to learn and practice Chinese herbal medicine. Processing of He Shou Wu. It's seemingly simple, yet there is a hidden Tao concept not immediately recognizable to the uninitiated. This involves taking the time and attention needed to manage the temperature of the water while maintaining a steady heat supply. The water and fire must be in balance. This is the Tao of steaming. Wang knows with just a touch of his hand at the best time to remove the herbs from the stove. The most common way these days to process He Shou Wu is a non-stop 18-hour machine steaming process. Traditional in his ways, Wang insists on choosing the old steaming methods which take longer but have more satisfying results. After one steaming, He Shou Wu is put under the sun to dry. After the herb is dried, it's put back on the stove for more steaming. This process is repeated nine times for at least a month. During 60 years of work, Wang has learned that life is a process of cultivating the mind, the body, and the spirit as one. This cultivation requires a lifetime. Wang shows this not only through his skill and compassion, but through his devotion to Taoism and Chinese herbal medicine as a way to help his fellow human beings. Over the course of his lifetime, the power of his peacefulness is revealed in its unconquerable spirit. Within the groups of people who study herbs, much medical knowledge is passed on, 
But another important thing handed down to further generations are the legends.